And Ryan Seacrest is now ruling over a massive media kingdom. It's so enormous, in fact, that if Ryan quit American Idol today and gave up his new two-year, $30 million deal, he'd still be worth about $40 million bucks. So how did he manage to spin reality TV success into becoming Hollywood's top mogul? Oh, and did you know that he just signed a deal to own part of a new network? You'd think Ryan never stops working, and Showbiz Tonight's Kareem Winter discovered that he wouldn't have it any other way. Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest is more than just a TV host, but could he be the most powerful person in Hollywood? What's up, everybody? He's got a syndicated radio show. He hosts one of the top-rated shows on TV. He's the heir apparent to Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. And he's also a mega hit behind the camera, producing the reality show of all reality shows, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And Showbiz Tonight can report, Seacrest is adding NBC special contributor to his credits. He recently cut a deal with NBC Universal, where he'll contribute to the Today Show and specials like the Summer Olympics and the elections. You look at it and you just can't help but wonder, like, wow, how does he do all of this? The Huffington Post's Maggie Furlong tells Showbiz Tonight that as overwhelming as it may seem, it isn't just work for Seacrest. It's the kind of thing where he actually really enjoys going, chatting with people, playing some new music, breaking new exclusives, getting to know, you know, Hollywood personalities. He lives for this stuff. And even on the idol stage, he gets really close with these contestants and he loves the banter with the judges. <laughs> One of those judges, Jennifer Lopez, who's known for her own crazy work schedule, says Ryan's work ethic is like nothing she's ever seen. Sometimes when I'm not feeling so great, I look up at him and I'm like, he was up at 3 in the morning. He was on the radio. If he can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? And he's inspiring in that way. And he has built quite an em uh, empire for himself. And at the age of 37, well, that empire is quite impressive. According to the New York Times, Seacrest earns more than $50 million a year between his radio and TV deals. But how did he do it? Radio was his first love, but it was TV that changed his life forever. This is American Idol. In 2002, Seacrest landed the hosting gig on American Idol, and that set him up for one deal after the other. Uh, hi, it's Ryan Seacrest. First with Clear Channel for his radio program, On Air with Ryan Seacrest. We are just a couple minutes away from the new year. Then on TV, when in 2005 he joined the late Dick Clark for New Year's Rockin' Eve, and just a year later joining E! to host and produce several shows, and now NBC. Ryan should be everywhere. Everywhere. That is Ryan's goal. Larry King, broadcast icon and close friend to Seacrest, tells Showbiz Tonight, Ryan is dialed into the business side of show business, just like his mentor, Dick Clark. I asked him the other night we had dinner, would you rather produce a successful show or host a successful show? What did he say? 50-50. Uh, he loves the business end of the business. He likes the figures. He likes meetings. He likes meetings. Who likes meetings? Ryan likes taking meetings. Whether it's meetings for his next hosting gig or his next blockbuster producing deal, Showbiz Tonight can tell you Ryan's on top of the entertainment world. Forget the Kardashians. Try keeping up with him, a man who shows no signs of slowing down.